Not bad at the age of 40. Ascot, back to its former glory. Royal magnificence again for the Royal Race Meeting. Down the course glides the Royal Landor, and cheered alike by the multitudes along the heath and the privileged spectators in the stands, the King and Queen take their place in the Royal Box. With them are their personal friends and members of the family. And when they come to the front of the box to watch the racing, you may catch a view of the Duchess of Kent, in whose choice of Ascot fashions there is no little feminine interest. Hydrangeas decorate the Royal Box, but as usual, the most decorative contributions to Ascot are not the flowers, but the dresses. Ascot is a fashion parade at which lovely limbs take on their most superb array and glorious apparel sets off exquisite faces. Side by side with this comely company, their compeers compare rather unfavourably, but even the masculine miscellany contrived to present a smart appearance in formal morning dress and grey toppers. There is also, of course, racing. For instance, the Ascot Stakes. 29 runners get away, a big field, but the prizes are big too. And they run all round the heath without a protest in whatever direction they're required to go. This, as I say, is the Ascot Stakes, big race of the opening day. If you're interested in racing, you can watch the struggle between Kept On, Sir Calidor and Valerian. If you're interested in the result, and you don't need to be at Ascot, Valerian, nearest the camera, wins by a head for Sir Abe Bailey. 